everybody's attention, please. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, start this meeting off tonight. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, budget time, and uh, we're going to try to going to try to get this wrapped up tonight. So we appreciate everybody's patience throughout this process. Um, council, uh, I thought. Before we get started, do we want do we want to try to come up with a consensus on what's the basic or the, the minimal service that we that we want to at least get out of this, or do you guys want to come right in with cuts? I'm not sure what you guys came prepared to do right off the top. So I'll tell you my I'll tell you my goal is to fulfill the fulfill the request of the uh, uh, the uh, police chief, the fire chief, and the development department in, in adding positions. All of them public safety related, and uh, um, and I, I think I have an idea for a good start. And uh, uh, if you want me to go into that, I will. If you, yeah, let's go ahead and let's just right. jump right in. I, I've come up with a, a number of cuts and some rationale behind them. And if if uh, you hear me out before you start beating me with a stick, I'd appreciate it. Um, the development no, no department promises. has requested a you too, Bob. Has requested a to to replace a, a vehicle, used vehicle, twenty four thousand dollars, coming out of sales tax. Um, I'd say postpone that and uh, stay the course with our used vehicles. I, I I know they're in need of one, but let's let's get through this year. Parks department has requested two John Deere tractors. I'd say cut it to cut it to one. That would save uh, twenty three thousand dollars. That's out of hotel motel tax, and I would propose that um, that twenty three thousand dollars be put into the uh, uh, community filled fund, and that we take twenty three thousand out of the sales tax from the community filled fund, so that the so that the uh, funding is coming from sales tax. The signage, uh, the uh, uh, parking lot signage. Uh, we've already heard that um, they potentially have uh, been able to reduce that from fifty to twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. The electronic ticket ticketing, uh, I think we can uh, can hold off on that. It's ten thousand dollars. I think it's more important to get the personnel in place. The fire department got a grant. Uh, all they're in need of is the uh, AED uh, training um, aid. Uh, so instead of thirty-four thousand seven hundred, they need about ten thousand. So that's another twenty-four thousand seven hundred in savings. The economic development fund uh, is another uh, sales tax. All of these have been sales tax that I've mentioned, except for the one hotel motel. Um, economic development fund twenty thousand uh, dollars. That's the only permanent cut that I have at at, at this time. Um, the other is a. Uh, uh, the parking lot, finishing the parking lot at Main and Valley, again, that's uh, fifty thousand dollars out of sales tax. Um, uh, we can we can get by and work that into uh, into a later budget. That's two hundred ninety six thousand seven hundred dollars uh, in savings. We have a one time payment coming from uh, Spear Weingard Development of one point two million dollars. Uh, we'd need to take thirty three thousand three hundred dollars out of that to get to the three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. To fund two police officers, a firefighter, and a part-time nuisance officer for one year, and that's all it's going to provide us. And I, I, I know that the, the staff, and in particular the the city manager, does not like using one-time funds to get this done. But I think we need to give ourselves a cushion so that we can discuss the really hard decisions that we have to make on on how we are going to uh, come up with a permanent funding. And I also think that in the meantime, we can put the finance fee uh, to a vote. And uh, based on the uh, six police officers, three firefighters, and one nuisance officer, we're looking at in the fourth year a million and thirty thousand dollars. If we put three and a half cents on as a request for the franchise fee, that's going to give us a million dollars. We can find the thirty thousand dollars and. In, in additional cuts, um, I, I've uh, poured over the um, the departmental budgets, and I, I 
I don't see recommendations there that wouldn't hurt the effectiveness of those departments. But I, ha I do have the uh, priorities, and right now that's the public safety. And if it's necessary to make cuts in those other departments, if we can't get the franchise fee passed, I, I, I can see that as being uh, part of what we have to do along with a property tax increase. But for me, it's very important that we give the public an opportunity to decide that if the franchise fee is the right way to right way to go, or if if I mean, we we would have to make significant cuts in in other departments. And I'm I, I'm not going to uh, uh, start naming off departments right now because people are would be saying I'm putting a scare tactic into them. I don't want them to do that. I want them to think about the importance of the of the police and the fire and the nuisance department at this point and. And, uh, and move forward. The other, the, the other proposal that, that I had, and I'm sorry I left this out, the pump house at the golf course would have to uh, be eliminated from the hotel motel tax funding. I would propose that it go into, that, it, that we bond for that, and that that's repaid for with a uh, increased fees and show that as a, as a separate fee on, uh, for, the, for the golfers per round of golf. And um, they, they, they've done that in the past. They added, I think it's, uh, for several years, there was a dollar fee to, uh, to uh, pay for a bond issue. And then I, I, uh, I would take that, uh, take the $120,000 from the hotel motel, put it in a transit uh, bus purchase, and then put the sales tax from the, that was going to be used for the bus purchase into the, um, into the uh, offsetting for the, uh, officers in, in the, those three departments. That's what I've got at this point. It gives us it gives us time to really have honest discussions with ourselves and with the public and with the departments on what can what what fat if any there is that we can trim um, and whether a franchise fee would pass or not. And then on your proposal, what if it doesn't pass? If it doesn't pass, Bob, then we're sitting down and we're talking about, we've got them funded for this year. We have another budget cycle that we go through, and that's when we have to start talking about making very, very difficult cuts and very, very difficult property tax increases. But it funds them for this year. It gets us through this year only. That's it. Right. If it passes. No. Oh. With these cuts, oh, it gets cuts. us through this year. With the with, there's three hundred and thirty thousand dollars in cuts that I, I would propose, all of it coming out of capital. And the only other thing that I would want to that I want to add is that um, it's it's also in the uh, this is coming out of uh, capital projects fund. It wouldn't would not go towards funding these uh, positions, but we uh, there's been a request for six flatbeds uh, for uh, uh, for uh, the uh, riverfront. Uh, and uh, in an enclosed trailer, uh, I would propose that we uh, we cut that to uh, two flatbeds, and that they palletize the the uh, remainders and use those flatbeds uh, uh, to to rotate. If the businessman in me uh, <coughs> brings that out, as well as the um, instead of having an enclosed trailer, you can you can use uh, job site boxes to uh, achieve the same thing and do it for about half the cost. Um, uh, if uh, if we, if we find in the future that that doesn't work efficiently, then we may have to look at additional uh, trailers. But I think at this point, two, two trailers would get the job done, and, and we wouldn't see a, um, we, we wouldn't see too much loss of efficiency there. <clears throat> I can repeat all those if you want me to. Eventually. Um, Could I ask you a question first? Uh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just going to make a statement. I just, I was hoping to see cuts carried over. Um, and as I went through the budget, I didn't see a whole lot of that that we could make today and carry over into a perpetuity into next year, into the, the year after. And, uh, I 
I get I think these are good cuts. I just don't like the fact that we're that we're delaying this another year. And I know we do need time for some bigger things, but um, yeah, I, I guess some of these I, I could do. Some of these I I could. I hear you on. I just. I see this as making, if, if we decide cuts in other departments without giving it um, the necessary time that, that we need, then it becomes an emotional decision for everybody. For us, and it becomes an emotional decision for the, for the public. I agree. Because the library doesn't want us to cut them. Civic Music doesn't want us to cut them. The, the kids that use the swimming pool don't want us to cut them. Uh, the bees don't want us to cut their budget. I mean, the... Uh, and we can go on and on and on. I, I think when, for me, again, it's, the, it's about the priority of getting the chief's positions filled that they claim they need, and I, nobody knows it better than what they do, and yeah. the uh, uh, it, getting that taken care of first and then finding out a way to, to make it permanent and, uh, and then say a lot of prayers that we hope that the... Uh, Future hope is brighter, and that we're that uh, one day we won't need to have as many police and firefighters that, uh, because the world's gotten better. <coughs> Sounds good on paper. I think I think he makes excellent points because what cuts that will carry over are at this point in our budget discussion will be will be quick, and I think may even be rash. And what? it would be just a quick decision that we make without really, really thinking very hard about it. Um, making permanent cuts to departments or something that I think should take a while for us to think about, not you know two hours every week for a month. To me, that's not enough time. Um, and I've had a lot of people, not a lot, I've had a few people say, you know, going in and cutting non-essential services, but for me, Everything we do and everything we supply the citizens in this town can be essential. We want growth in Burlington, but nobody's going to come here if there's no library and if there's no public swimming pool. You know, to me, non-essential services, that doesn't, that doesn't exist here. Everything we do is essential for keeping everyone here happy and healthy and getting more people to come here which in turn would increase you know, the tax base, right? <laughs> That's where our funding comes from. Um, but I think right now, making cuts to the, to the capital projects is going to be something that hopefully we can maybe all agree on. Um, because it's not making permanent cuts to departments and it's just not something I would be comfortable with doing and the other option would be to do nothing at this point I feel like since we can't seem to find a common ground with either just doing the franchise fee or just raising property taxes but, you know we can we can come back and talk about that forever but we have to we have to get this figured out tonight so what are you in favor of as far as getting the funds to do whatever well, I've, I actually, while we were going through each of the departments when they were doing their um, discussions, I went through and I checked off almost everything that Tim had just, had just described to us that would cut from the capital projects. So, you know, I find myself aligned with what he has said. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't want to cut capital projects. Uh, if something has to be trimmed, um, I mean, I, I guess uh, I can be swayed, but I, I really don't want to delay that just because it's stuff that has to get done. And um, by by backing it up, and I know it, where Tim's coming from because you want to address the issue at hand and to make sure that we at least this year we can. But we're going to be in the same spot next year. Uh, what yeah. I what I can come up with is. We'll be in a worse spot. Next oh, well, year. actually, I, I, I would agree with that. Um, we're just as bad. But the bottom line is, I, I definitely am all in to finding a way to support uh, the chief with a detective. Um, everybody knows what he's asking for, so I, I definitely, uh, 
I'm still getting support for people saying we'll pay the tax. I'm, I'm getting support that way. Um, through emails, I want to be completely honest. I have to say over the weekend, more of the emails that I got, a lot more of the conversation was tax and not franchise fee. That being said, I am getting that, and uh, so I. I think the people uh, uh, deserve a right to, uh, to speak out and, and have a say in that. The thing that I do like about the franchise fee is that we can designate it for something entirely that, that it's going to stay that way, and there's no way down the road uh, that three years later or a change or five, four years later, uh, when the council may look completely different, that they come in and undo uh, what we did. This ought to be a, a security blanket is how I'm looking at it so that the uh, our departments are protected so they don't go beneath a, a certain staff. Those numbers, I just, there's just no way. Those take big cuts. Those take cuts like, uh, I'm going to bring this up to make my neighbor mad, like recycling. <laughs> I, you know, again, I was the only person that said that, and I know a lot of people are, you know, don't you bring that up again. But we're going to have to take a look at big programs. Where, you know, the, the 20000 here and the 20000 there, it's not going to support what, what we need. We need either t uh, increase in uh, uh, revenue or we need massive uh, uh, tax cuts, and that's going to take a, a big project, a big program. So uh, I'm not prepared to do that, and obviously, well, actually, I, I guess I was, but I didn't get any support, so... Um, I'm for making sure that we get enough cuts that we can get the detective and uh, pushing, putting forth uh, a franchise fee. That's where I am on the budget. As an aside note, uh, uh, Councilwoman, what did the Economic, Economic Development Committee deci decide with the Greers? I had to leave the meeting early, oh. so. Uh, they voted in favor of uh, providing funds for that, up to 150000 uh, towards the white boxing uh, part of what they put in there they uh, s they mentioned as as that's a pretty significant piece that they're being requested to consider from the council uh, they would like the council in recognition of that to at least consider what has been put forward towards that as you're thinking about what you're doing uh, towards potentially reducing the amount of funding for economic development activities moving forward but but yes they regardless they did recommend moving forward with and, and what is the balance in that account do we have an idea three a little over three hundred thousand right with the allocation from this okay. year I, that's an aside note we'll deal with that later do you want to go next no you want me to mm -hmm. How come? <laughs> All right. Um, like the rest of these people, I've got been given this a lot of thought. I've met with you a couple times to get some guidance and some facts that I could deal with. Um, I am still very strongly opposed to the franchise thing. I think it is. I think it's our duty and our responsibility to do what we think is best to address the problems of our community. And number one problem right now, I think, has to do with security, safety. Uh, with that in mind, uh, I understand that a uh, franchise tax would bring in a lot of money. Another way of putting that, it would cost you and I more money in our utility bill every month. For a 2% increase in our property tax, that is going to cost you less than if the franchise tax were passed. The milli rate would go from $15.94 to $16.25. Uh, what I'm proposing with that, I wish I could do more, but my recommendation is that we go with two police officers and the appropriate equipment to put them on the street. Uh, I've asked Jim for a figure on that, and I think, what would you tell me? Uh, 280000 I think. First year. Yeah, first year, $280,000. A lot of money. Uh, second year would be $220,000. Uh, my recommendation is that the, uh, the tax base would bring in $240,000. And then we need at least $40,000 in cuts to pay for all of this. 
And those cuts, we've recited some of them several times, and I'm not going to nitpick it. I know Jim has mentioned some, uh, the traffic, uh, you know, the uh, electronic ticketing, uh, the parking lot signage, and a number of other issues. In fact, I asked Jim just today, the 20,000 here, the 10,000 there, and so forth, I think he's a better judge of that than I am, is how these departments function and who best could stand, shall we say, a cut of whatever. So as I see it, we have come up with cuts easily covering the, the, uh, the shortage that the tax brings in by at least eighty to $100,000. I think that way we put more policemen on the street. Uh, we've raised taxes, yes, which nobody likes, but I'll repeat, a 2% property tax increase is gonna cost you less than a three or 4% franchise tax fee. The other thing with the franchise tax, I keep saying this, what if it doesn't pass, and I bet you it won't? Then we have to go in, and like you said, we have to really get back here now and do the tough stuff, and I don't understand why we want to do that. That's the end of my speech at this time. You're next now. <laughs> I honestly could not... Councilman Scott go with all those capital cuts. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I couldn't do that. Um, I guess a couple of people have questioned whether it's, it's our commitment to public safety. Limit. And I have started stated from the beginning that the most important thing that we do here is public safety. And then streets and sewer and that sort of thing is after that. But Public safety is number one. I'm still set on economic development fund can be cut. Uh, if we keep the library at its current level, um, yeah. that's $30,000 we could save there. The fire equipment he said he didn't need, that's another 20, and the digital things, 10, and then either you go 25 or 50 on the parking lot signage, and, and right. the, you'd have your 31, 50, 70, 80, that's 105,000 roughly that, that you could accomplish what, what Councilman Fleming has uh, rec suggesting here. And I started this budget process by saying I was not in favor of a, of a tax increase. And um, based on input I've gotten from a number of different sources, there are some loud voices out there who say never, never, ever have a tax increase. But realistically, how can you possibly sustain running your, your government with never having a tax increase? Because you can't just keep cutting and cutting and cutting, because pretty soon then it, your departments can't do what they're supposed to do. Uh, and what's the point of doing it if you can't do your job? So uh, that's not a good place to be. Uh, I've gotten a number of emails from people like you, Mayor, said I'm okay with the tax increase. And, and uh, I don't like that idea too much, but I'm thinking that Mr. Fleming has an, a solution we can go with as long as, and this is my caveat, between now and a year from now, we are seriously looking at every possible thing that we can change. Right. Whether that's the bus system or the auditorium or I don't know, whatever it is, every single place <laughs> that we can look and find some money, so that a year from now we have in hand three to five hundred thousand dollars, so we can carry on for the next year these positions. So I'm going to agree with Mr. Fleming. And. Get just reiterate on, on how you're agreeing with Mr. So the tax rate would go to 16 and a quarter. We would cut this $100,000 in suggestions that I just made here. And then I would fund our two police officers for the next fiscal year. Together with a car and whatever else they yeah. need. We and and maintain them at the end of the cops grant. Right. I know that leaves out the fire department for now. Which I hate to do, by the way. <clears throat> and again, and the tax increase, which nobody likes, including me, will cost these, our citizens less than a franchise fee if it passed. So 
Bottom line out there, folks, at council, I, I don't like the idea of tax increases, but I think you have to have some give and take. And this is a negotiation process, and we are at an impasse. So I'm saying this is the best that we can get right now, what Mr. Fleming is suggesting, along with those cuts. Run, run, those, run those cuts again, Jim. I'm saying that we're going to keep the library at its current funding level, which is right. like 31 $32,000. Right. Economic yeah. Development Fund for 20. Uh, the fire department equipment that wasn't necessary was 20,000. The digital ticketing for 10. And the parking lot folks said they probably could do their job for 25 instead of 50, but I would be okay with taking the whole 50. So 31, 51, 71, 81, 25 would be 106. And how much did you think you needed? Uh, that's more than any. Okay. But but we I figured hit as much as we can, you know. Yeah. So if we got a hundred to one hundred ten thousand savings. So then then the tax rate wouldn't have to be sixteen twenty five. It could be sixteen twenty, for instance. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I'm throwing, laying that out there, folks. <laughs> so there you go. Rebuttals. So I, I can uh, I, I can say all right we won't we won't look at the franchise fee um, we'll look at uh, uh, we'll look at the cuts that I proposed get through the get through the uh, uh, this year and have that discussion and then decide uh, what we're going to cut and how much we're going to increase taxes to fulfill the request of the, of the police and fire department we have um, uh, both those departments that are uh, right now uh, extremely overworked. They're seeing an average increase in calls in the in, in fire and ambulance uh, of two to three hundred a year. Uh, we can't expect them to continue to do more and more with less and less. I agree. Uh, we've got, uh, well, but there's, I, I know you agree, but there's nothing in what you're proposing to increase fire the I fire know. department. Right. I know. Um, with um, with with what we with what I'm proposing, we're going to be well on our way to uh, filling two positions for the police department, one for the fire department, and and uh, a part time for a nuisance. And w what you're proposing doesn't take into consideration the next year. It's not going to fund them for the next year because you've got $105,000 in cut yourself. So we're 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 looking at the same thing. I'm just not increasing property taxes this year, and we really don't need another vehicle in the fleet uh, uh, just for development department I think we can easily get by on one tractor one new tractor one John new John Deere tractor this year instead of two the other cuts are the same thing that you're proposing the signage the electronic tickets the heart monitors the economic development fund um, and I'm saying eliminating the parking lot that uh, that we really don't need at this time uh, from the main and Valley Street and the only other thing is the the big one is the pump house and why should, the, why should we pay for that out of other taxes uh, and not have the, the users of that facility pay for it? What are you trying to get again, Tim? You're trying to get to, what, what, what are you trying to reach as far as $330,000 this year to fund the two police officers, continue the cops grant, hire one firefighter and a part-time nuisance. We'll give us three, for $330,000 and there's no property tax increase. And we can forget the franchise fees. We can. As long as we're going to sit down and look at look at everything else that we do, and make a decision on what we're what what we can really cut, without saying I think that we can cut thirty thousand dollars from the library without affecting the operation, or that that uh, uh, we can uh, cut anywhere else without really giving it a lot of thought. You know, if 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 it if we determine through our diligent search of what these departments do and what we think they can cut and we come up with a three hundred thousand dollar cut to the library so be it we may find out that we need to increase the the uh, funding at the library I, I don't know at this point I don't have all the information I need in front of me we can we can we can accomplish more than what you're wanting to accomplish with with the uh, fran with what I'm proposing in cuts without cutting much more than what you're already talking about cutting and without affecting the operations of the department and with letting people pay for what they're what they're using.
and Jim, you even said that that that, that the uh, uh, the practice of bonding and paying uh, with a with an additional fee out at the golf courses is something we've done in the past, and and the uh, uh, precedent have been set. Yeah. I think it was for the last pump house, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it was an irrigation system, I think. Mm. But that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that's the right thing to do at the current time. What did, what did you feel about bounding for a $120,000 pump house? Is that a good idea or is that not? We can't do it this year. You could yeah. do it next year. What's the shape of the pump house? I mean, what's the, what's the deal with it? What's the implications if we don't do it now? If we don't do it and it fails, then we have no irrigation on the course, which no. essentially none if the pump house fails. It's an older system. It, it's something we've looked at the last couple of years. That's why we had money budgeted and talking to the consultants on it. We were trying to piecemeal it together, and they said it would cost you more in the long run to do it. That's why we brought it forward this year as one item. We don't know. We can't say it's going to fail this year, but it's at an age that it, uh, if it does fail, it, it's shutting down good use of the course. I mean, we're not going to have irrigation. You're not going to have fairways and greens that are maintained, so uh, it could have a big implication. But I can't say 100% it's going to fail if we don't replace it, but if it does, it it's a big issue for the golf course for this year. Has there been any problems with it so far? We've major? had, not ma major would be shutting down. We've had minor repairs and mm -hmm. it's to a point that it's past its useful life. They don't supply a lot of the parts anymore and maintain right. it. So we're at that point. We've okay. planned for it the last two years, but we delayed it because we didn't want to do a patchwork job. So, but yeah, I can't say it's definitely going to fail or not, but if it does, it's not a good situation for the golf course. Well, like Jim said, I'm not in favor, though, of cutting these capital items. That, I just don't want to do that. But I don't either, but if I would. You were, I would risk the if you were course. doing that the, the way that we would have to fund it, it would be a project that you should have in next fiscal year. Uh, so it would be after probably, a, I would assume, after the season. Mm -hmm and then you would do the borrowing or bonding for it after the project was complete. You'd have to have a hearing uh, prior to it, but you wouldn't, do the, you wouldn't be able to do the actual bonding until next calendar year. We've used up our ability to borrow for this year with the issue that you're doing tonight. Doesn't mean you can't borrow in the next fiscal year though, or next calendar year. Just because we don't bond for it doesn't mean that we couldn't add it a dollar fee to the golf course to help pay for it, right? You have to, yeah, you can add a dollar fee to help pay for it, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. I, I could do that, Tim. I could delay the, go, the pump. Uh, well, apparently we won't have to do that, obviously. No, you don't have to so, do that. Uh, no. no you so don't that one's a... If you do that and it does fail, you it just completely wiped out your season, basically, because people just don't want to play it. Huh? Right, but I mean, you, you, uh, it's, we're not going to get billed for it till uh, 2018. I mean, I don't know what your plan was for when you were hoping to do that project. If you were hoping to do that this spring before the season started, this this fall it would be. It's not it's so, not in this year's budget. So it'd be yeah. the same. It'd be the same timing as what you're already talking about. It's just you'd borrow, you'd borrow after January 1. But probably wouldn't even take a dollar extra, what, Eric, to pay for it, maybe just 50 cents. I, I don't know what the terms of the bond would be, but. No, I'm not talking about bonding, I'm just oh. talking Well, about he it. needs to know how much he needs to rate, or how much he has to, to for the repayment amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, to know how much that dollar fee will right. will cover, it's until we have I'm a. I'm basically not in favor of bonding for $120,000. I'm not in favor of going into the capital items. I'm not just. I, I never liked it when we bonded for garbage trucks, so I don't like it. It just let's take, let's increases taper it the cost so much. Let's taper it down to what what are we uh, what are we going to walk away here with? What do we what do we have to have? We need a consensus on what we're what we're going to have to have. Um, <laughs> uh, Jim and I, there's two. We need a third. <laughs> What you know, I. I mean, I guess if, I feel like if we're gonna if we're gonna raise 
taxes. You you guys are suggesting two, off, was it two, two officers? Two police officers. Yeah. Two police officers. I just feel like for a little bit more, it, it would be two officers maintain the cops grant, additional firefighter, and then the part time nuisance. That all kind of. I, I, I hear you on that. If you I mean, uh, I don't want to. And that's not even really what we need. We need more. But I guess that's all that... Oh, you're not going to get more, though. We, we just willing. don't have the money for it. We just... Well... You know, but we will have... A year, if we follow what I'm suggesting, a year from now, we'll be set. If we can do it. Now, I don't know I'm if about we can to do say, it. Yeah. There's a big yeah. And I don't, I don't even care. To me, it's okay if you want to put out the franchise fee for a vote. I, I, I'm not saying that I'm in favor of it, but if, right. if the community wants to have it, then let's do it. No, but would you be willing to go a little bit higher with the property tax? Why? <laughs> it's it's going to be the last option on the most recent piece of paper. I'd like to keep it at 2%. On um, this one here? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 47 cent increase. Yeah. $15.40. What are you talk? You're, you're talking for? For two police officers, maintain the cops, grant, at the, staffing oh, okay. at the end of it. I see where you're on. Yeah. An additional firefighter. Right. Okay. Because all of those, those three departments are severely understaffed. Oh, no question. I mean, that, but then you'd say that Total levy would be 1640 less whatever we could save on, right. on these cuts. 1640 is a big increase. I bet it is. Um, I think we need to let the I think we need to let the people speak on a on on making a jump. But I'm I'm kind of like Annie. What you you made a statement before? You said either either as is or all in. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of all in. Um, I think we do need to, I think we need to vote. If we're, we can't afford this, but if, if the people are willing to uh, uh, increase or, or add a tax, I think we need the six police officers, and I think we need at least three firefighters. And if we can afford to do that, I think we need to do that. The only way we can't afford to do that is with an increase. So with the, with the fee, whether it's however you guys, or whatever the consensus is how we do it, I would say that, no, let's not vote on on a piece of, uh, you know, getting a piece of what they want, we can tax that out. Let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get what we need because otherwise there's no other way that we can. Let's, let's go after it. What are we going to do right now? What are we getting? What's our, what's our consensus? How many people are with? Uh... Well, adding any fire to this budget? Not at this time. <laughs> I'm worried with that. Mayor, um, two police officers, a firefighter, and a part-time nuisance with the plan to add the total of six police officers, three firefighters, and the one nuisance over the, the three-year period. So, and the only way that's going to happen is if we sit down and discuss it, um, discuss these, I, every department, everything that we do, every option that we have. Something's going to have to go. Something's going to have to go. Uh, you know, you I just said the same thing. You said six, three, and one. I'm saying the same thing. I'm no, no, <laughs> I'm agreeing with you there. I'm saying there's a service that's going to have to go, or we're going to need increased. Uh, we're going to need increased. We can't revenue. say that there's until we have all the until we have everything in front of us. We've got to, we've, you know, we've, we've got to know whether uh, whether uh, turning one service over to uh, right. to the private sector is a, is enough to get us the that or if we've got if we if we have to make cuts we can't I, I can't make any decisions without having uh, the information in front of me I, I don't want to say that I think we can that we can cut out the swimming pool and and uh, satisfy uh, the police fire and nuisance needs and and uh, not hurt a soul in this uh, community by doing it I think there's a real opportunity to take a little piece here, a little piece there, and and and, and uh, be able to produce the, the plan that we need for police, fire, and nuisance. Mm -hmm. 
looking at one one this time one time capital um, suspension. It's not like it's going to go away. It's not like we can't uh, uh, look at look at all of this in the future. I don't think there's any single thing there that's that's really going to put anything in jeopardy, except potentially the the pump house if it goes bad. But if we don't have two fire or a firefighter or two police officers, officers, you know, uh, how do we know that one of those wouldn't save a life if they were on on board? I mean, we we can do a lot of what ifs here all night long. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You had me at hello. You swayed me, Tim. Um, I, I don't I don't see any other route. But I but here's my here's my thing. I just don't because I've got three years left of this year, and I don't want to come back here next year. And ha and revisit this same. I, I'd rather I'd rather squash it out, and I would just like to see something where, if I believe right, I remember it was brought up last year that we need to look at, and the year before that we need to look at bigger bigger cuts, um, privatizing things. How are we going to look at that? Because I don't want to keep looking at it. If we're going to look, I want to see something. And the day we vote on, the day we vote on the budget, we need to set a schedule to do it. To, Come right out of the next day, and, Amen. and look at it. We need. Right. I mean, we've there's there's four of us that have said that that we have to sit down and look at everything that we do, and this time do it before we're a month out from approving a budget. Exactly. That's that's the that's the only way we're going to get there. Or we, you're exactly right. You're going to be here next year. You're going to be going through the same exact steps that you're going through this year and you're going to be cutting capital capital budget to help pay for police fire and nuisance we need two cops that, uh, if we was coming up and and uh and a fire if we went from two to two and a half percent tax what is the half of it? six and three about another fifty thousand yeah 55 55, 55 or 60 so in that neighborhood Well, so we went to two and a half, and just took a few more cuts, had a firefighter. I can do it. I can get with Tim. And uh, Annie, are you making a third? Yes. To do what? To do what? To do some uh, capital uh, improvement cuts, one-time cuts. I want to hear how bad it is first from the oh, please. city manager. Oh, you got to hear this, guys. You're pushing. You know, I guess I've said this a couple of times already, so I don't know mm -hmm. that it's anything different. I don't like the idea of paying for ongoing costs with one-time cuts because now you've put a decision on next year's council right. to, uh, if they're going to maintain operations, to have a, the equivalent of a 47 cent property tax increase. If you don't find savings from an operations of a of an op of uh, whatever operation you're talking about, looking to outsource, um, your the uh, the way to avoid a tax increase next year will be again one-time capital cuts. One-time capital cuts on an ongoing basis is uh, putting your putting yourself up for failure. The rest of people are just that doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that you you're creating a a very difficult scenario for a year from now. All the more reason why the five of us have to sit down yes. and do this before we get to the next council. Exactly. Because I don't feel like That's we right. have ever discussed that. In the year that I've been here, even though the majority majority of everyone here has voiced their wants to get rid of, not get rid of, but change hands on some of the services that we provide. We have an actual, we just talk about that. We don't talk about how we're going to do it. So I, I think this would be okay if we can get serious about, about those topics and actually talking about them, not just talking about how we want to talk about them. Well, well there's, there's no getting around it. We, uh, um, those things have to be. Those things have to be investigated, and that we we're going to have to 
There's no getting around to it. Me personally, I don't want to privatize anything. I, I think we've got great city employees doing their jobs. All of that um, is just that it's not it's not sustainable for um, how the world has changed and how much more policing uh, is relied upon. And uh, uh, that being said, I think we need to uh, prepare ourselves. Uh, we're going to need we're going to need to do that. Um, can can we ask? Councilman Scott to go down his list again. Uh, delete the development uh, department's inspection department's uh, replacement of the vehicle. That's uh, $24,000 from sales tax. Eliminate one of the John Deere tractors from the two that were requested. Uh, $23,000 hotel motel uh, tax and uh, 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 swapping that out with uh, sales tax from the community field uh, so that it's sales tax that's going into this, not uh, hotel motel tax. Um, parking signage, uh, uh, reducing that from 50 to 25,000. Eliminating the electronic tickets, uh, eliminating the $24,700 for the heart monitors, which was the fire department got in a grant. The economic development fund of, of uh, $20,000 and uh, uh, postponing of uh, <coughs> the uh, pump house um, for the golf course. And then uh, the parking lot at Main and Valley, uh, $50,000 there. 120 in the pump house and 50,000 at, uh, at Main and Valley. And then uh, taking $33,300 from the uh, one-time $1.2 million payment from uh, Spear and Weingart development um, would give us the three hundred and thirty thousand dollars we'd need for those uh, for those positions for one year. The other cuts that I proposed was um, from the capital projects uh, 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 flood wall ops is uh, cutting back to two two flatbed trailers from six and uh, and looking at the potential of using. Uh, job boxes instead of uh, enclosed trailers. And I, I would, before I'd make that a permanent proposal, I want uh, uh, the public works uh, or deputy city manager and the city manager to look at that and get back uh, at, at to us and, and uh, show us how that can be done. But that's, that's outside of what you're suggesting. Yeah, that's, that's not part of the, that's not part of the cuts to get the, uh, the public safety taken care of. It's just, Additional uh, capital that um, uh, that I feel, is, uh, from a business person standpoint, doesn't need to be spent. I'm not saying eliminate them all, just reduce them. Well, the biggest one I would have a problem with is that pump house thing, because oh. if it goes bad, then we're we're really in trouble. So. Yeah, I, I disagree. Getting into these capital. I don't think that's the place to go. I don't like it, but I do like the, the thought of uh, starting off with two uh, policemen, and uh, I know that that would be... Uh, and so what, what is this, Mr. Scott, what does this get us now? Two policemen and a... Two policemen, a firefighter, and the nuisance, part-time nuisance. Oh, that's right, 330. Okay, that's where that came from. I, I can say I love it, but... Um, I can again. I can. I can do that. It's no property tax increase. It gives us an opportunity to discuss whether we want to put the franchise fee on, or uh, if we want to first talk about the other options that we have and and uh, look uh, uh, look at uh, get the data that we need to make intelligent decisions on uh, cuts elsewhere. Yeah, I got a book full of data. I don't know what more you need. And I, then I think of the time that these department heads have gotten together to put together what they think they need to operate, and they're sitting here saying we need more information. Good Lord, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I've got 48 well, pages here, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm for one, I'm not going to, I'm not going to support a, a, an increase in property taxes to $17.71 uh, to fund all of those positions. All I want to do is fund the positions that the Public safety and the nuisance office has asked for. They know better than I do than what we do cumulative 
on what they need. And if, if, uh, if they're lying to me, then they shouldn't be in the position they're in, and I know them well enough that they wouldn't. Well, of they're only asking because their officers, their departments need these people. Nobody's arguing and that point. Well, but you're saying they can get by with two. I'm looking to fund all six positions in the police department, yeah. all three in the fire department, and the one in the nuisance department. I say we can't and afford it even if we wanted to. We yeah. don't know until we have all the facts in front of us. I don't know what, what more. I don't know what facts you're looking for because we have to make a decision here pretty soon, guys. We're going to make one right now. I think we've got a consensus. You do? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, Not 100 percent. Well, um, we need three to move forward on this budget. I'm getting. I'm getting over here that you want your tax. In, that you want a slight tax increase with with uh, what increase in personnel? Two police officers. Oh, two police officers. And I'll go two and a half percent if you'd like, and we'll get the policeman or a firefighter. <coughs> and Mayor Pro Tem, you were. Well, I can agree with him, but I can also agree over here, except for that pump house thing. I, I think that's a mistake. But Annie, are you are you uncomfortable with with anything on Tim's list? Yes and no. I mean, yes. if the, the pump house should fail, then there goes a whole, whatever, an asset we have. But otherwise, I'm, to, to get past to where we need to go, I'm, I'm for it. Feel better with it? Yes. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's uh, where we're at. Jim? The only thing... We can present that for the modify the budget documents to have that. With the pump house, are you completely eliminating the project or are you saying you're going to bond for it in next next calendar year? I'm not bonding for a pump house. I would uh, I thought we were gonna entertain uh, Mr. Davidson brought up uh, increasing the, the fees and hopefully within a season we can we can have the money for the pump You won't house. raise a hundred and twenty thousand in a season to do that. Right. So, are you going to wait until you've raised 120,000 to do the project, or how how are you addressing it? Just not doing it? That's um, not that's not an option. Even if you raise the do, use the dollar fee, is still it, to do a project. You have to to borrow them. If you're doing it with a fee structure that it's going to take several years to repay, you're going to have to borrow the money. Or is that what you're wanting to do, to borrow the money in next year? And that, yeah. You can have a separate decision about whether you're using the dollar fee structure to make the bond repayments or raising or using debt service levy, but if you're going to borrow for it to make it happen, that's, that's a different thing from just completely eliminating it. Which one are you looking to do? I don't have a problem with bonding for it if it's going to be paid for with, with the revenues from, from the golf course. I'm satisfied with that. As long as we're going to increase the fees. Anytime you bond for something, you just exponentially increase the cost. Yep. But we're uh, we're increasing the costs every year because we're we're borrowing money every year. I mean, there's not we're not getting being we're not it was be able to get away to from come out of motel tax, right? The one thing I was going to mention to keep in consideration for the Main and Valley parking lot is that those two buildings are scheduled to be demoed this spring by uh, Mr. Coffin. And if they are demoed this spring, they will probably leave a fairly substantial hole in the ground. Um, so there, it'll be, it'll be left on. You're supposed, to be left. You're supposed to level the lot, the lot right? Yeah. Level it? Yeah, so um, if it's not paved, what we would, I, I would assume we'd just go to seat it. Yeah, it we'd have a, to. Or rock He's it. just removing it down to the foundation. There's no foundation. There's no basement. But he's just removing it, so we'd have to haul in dirt and seed it. Yeah. So we'll still have some cost, even if you don't pave it. Whatever that would take to get that done, and then we'll have to maintain. We'll have to mow it and mm -hmm. maintain it. So are we ready to? Any other comments or? 
And again, I'm, I'm satisfied. Okay. I will not vote for this. Okay. You still want the um, pump house left in and plan on borrowing and pay for it back at some point? I do. Okay. I do. Yes. I will not vote for that. I will not. Okay. All right. We're going to uh, conclude this meeting. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks, Council. Thank you, Jim.